Hey everyone, Tom, Wine Valley Woodworks. I'm making seven charcuterie boards today. It's a lot of commission, a lot of products. I don't have time to mess up anything. That's why I'm gonna be using this new flush trim bit that's being sold by Crafted Elements. It's a half inch collet, three eighth inch cutting area up top. It's a spiral up flush trim. It looks pretty cool. It's really heavy. I haven't used it yet. So let's cut up some wood, put the templates on, get to work. I need to point this out before I forget. So I just got done using this. So how am I able to hold this in my hand? Because it is, it's warm, but it's not burning hot like my old flush trim would be. You can see on the bearing on the top there, it's scorched. They used to be silver. It doesn't even spin anymore. It's just melted to the flush trim bit. That's going in the garbage. Okay, the other thing, this is super sharp. Sharp is safe, dull is dangerous. This definitely did the job. I'll just let the results speak for itself. Day two of using this flush trim bit from Crafted Element. Just routed out these three heart-shaped charcuterie boards. I have to do this white oak one. As you guys know, white oak is my nemesis. I always get chip out. You can just see the chip out just from a cheap drill bit I got from Home Depot. So will that flush trim bit hold up against this white oak. Let's find out right now. Moment of truth, let's check it out. Okay, take a look. Inside, I'm not seeing any chip out. Hey guys, router bit did its job. All I gotta say is the last router bit I purchased before this one was 25 bucks and it lasted for about a week. Now this is an expensive router, but my take on that is buy once, cry once. Do I recommend this flush trim bit? Absolutely, 100%. Now if you're thinking about buying this bit, make sure one, that you have a router with a half inch collet and two, make sure your router has adjustable speed. The reason for that being is factory recommendation is that you don't run this over 18,000 RPM. Now, personally, I ran mine at 13,000 RPM and that did the job to flush out all these boards and make everything smooth. These boards turned out great, especially on the end grains. And that's what you're looking for when you're looking to make charcuterie boards with templates with bits like this. Thank you for watching. Happy building.